Hello, Kamato Class! Welcome back sa isa na namang pag-aaral ng Aralin sa Mathematics. Sometimes we are asked to answer this. There are a die of circles in the figure J-O and Y-O. J-Y is 9 in length and J-O is equal to 3. What is O-Y if it is tangent to the circle with center J? Kapag ganito yung mga problem, na binibigay sa atin, most of the time, mas maganda na nakikita natin ang illustration para mas madali nating na-analyze. And that will be our topic with this video presentation. We will be talking of solving problems on circles. Lahat ng makikita nating problem sa ating pag-uusapan ngayon ay related sa circles. Tulad ng problem na ipinakita sa introduction at yun ang una nating sagutan. Again, there are a die of circles in the figure J-O and Y-O. j is 9 in length and J-O is equal to 3. What is O Y if it is tangent to the circle with center J? Kung mapapansin natin, hindi lamang isang circle lang pinag-uusapan kasi we have circles. At magkaibang raday yan ng magkaibang circle like this. So let us name this raday of the circle. So pangalanan muna natin yung triangle para makuha natin ng pangalan ng Radai o ng radius. So, J-O, ito yung J-O na sinasabi. So, it's a radius of the small circle. And O-Y is the radius ng mas malaking circle. Kay J-Y, itong J-Y na to na binabanggit ay 9, sir. At itong J-O naman ay 3, sir. So, what is asked in the problem is we are asked to determine ano ang sukat nito. Itong side na to ang ating aalamin. So, what, what is OY if it is tangent to the circle with center J? Ibig sabihin, si OY, ito yon si OY, o itong line na to, ay tangent sa circle na to. Balikan natin, kailang tangent kapag nag-intersect sa exactly one point. Kung mapapansin nyo, ito ang point of intersection nitong line na to at ng circle na ito. So, nag-intersect sa isa, kaya siya ay tangent. And you will also notice na itong, itong line na to at ang radius ay perpendicular. At batay yan sa pinag-usapan natin theorem sa tangent. Kapag siya ay tangent to circle at, na at nilagyan natin ng radius, ibig sabihin that is perpendicular. In that case, Ibig sabihin, dahil perpendicular, ang triangle na nabuo natin ay right triangle. Hence, JOY is a right triangle. At kapag pinag-uusapan ng right triangle at given na ang dalawang side, kung mapapansin natin, given na to, given na rin to, isang side na lang yung nawawala, ang ginagamit natin ay Pythagorean Theorem, which is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Balikan natin that C is the longest side. So, ito yon yung mahabang side. So, ito naman yung hindi side na mahaba. So, o, ibig sabihin, ito ay A at B. So, dahil given naman ang C, ito na yung gagamitin nating formula. Gamit, galing pa rin yan dito sa Pythagorean Theorem. B squared is equal to C squared minus A squared. So, balikan na natin that itong B squared ay inirepresent ng YO. Kasi yun yung nawawala. Okay na? So, syempre, yung C, ito yun, yung longest side. Yung, ito yun. So, JY. Tapos, minus. So, syempre, yung isa pang side, which is JO. So, it's the same as this. Okay, kapag nilagyan na natin ng radical symbol, syempre, nilalagyan ng radical both side. At kapag nilagyan mo ng radical both side, ang natira na lang ay Y. O, dito na lang mapupunta yung radical symbol. And that's the time na pwede na tayong mag-substitute. JY is given, which is 9. And JO is given, which is 3. So, we have 
9 squared minus 3 squared. Again, JY is 9. Pinalitan natin. Kaya naging 9 squared. And JO is 3. We have this one. Then after that, pag in-squared ang 9 squared, ibig sabihin 81. Pag in-squared ang 3 squared, ibig sabihin 9. Kaya 81 minus 9. At kapag sinubtract yun, that will be square root of 72. And approximately equal, kapag kinuha natin ang square root ng 72, that is equal to 8.49. So, and that will be the length of O, Y, or Y, O. Okay? So, I hope nasundan nyo yung first example. Let's have this one. Find the area of a circular sector whose chord is the side of a square with a 5 cm radius inscribed in a circle. So, it goes like this. We have this circle. Kasi pag iusapan natin, ang haalamin natin, circular sector. So, ibig sabihin, involve ang circle. Sabi, may, may chord. Okay, so let's consider that that is the chord. And the side of the square. So, yung chord ay side ng square. So, lagay natin. So, we have this one. So, yan na. Naka-inscribe na siya sa circle. At ang sabi, 5 cm radius. So, lagay natin ito. Para magkaroon tayo ng radius. So, 5 cm. Yan. So, ibig sabihin, kapag na-draw natin ito, perpendicular din ito because of the square. So, ibig sabihin, ang sukat nito ay 90 degrees then. Dahil 90 degrees, ito, magagamit natin yan para mas laman natin ang measure ng area of sector. Kasi kailangan, alam nyo yung ratio ng measure of an arc over 360 degrees. Ngayon, sabi ko magagamit natin ito 90 degrees dahil ito ay perpendicular ito ay 90 degrees. Therefore, ito ang arc na kailangan natin gamit ang definition ng central angle or the theorem with the central angle that a central angle is equal to the measure of the intercepted arc or the intercepted arc vice versa is equal to the central angle. Ay, ang central angle natin ay perpendicular there for 90 degrees to. So, ibig sabihin 90 rin ito. Kaya we have 90 degrees over 360 degrees. And that is equivalent to one part. Pag sinimplify natin, ulitin ko, Para makuha ang area pa sector, kailangan alam muna natin yung ratio na to. At the same time, kailangan alam din natin ang area ng circle. So, yung area ng circle, yung bilog. So, pi. Tapos, ang R natin ay 5 something. Substitute natin. Pi times pi. Ito yun, ha? R means 5 something. Hence, area is 25 pi centimeter squared or square centimeter. Dahil dito yan na 5 squared means 25. Tapos itong pi, then centimeter squared. So we have that. At ito ngayon ang formula. Para makuha ang area of a sector, kailangan natin makuha yung ratio na pinag-usapan natin kanina, which is measure of an arc over 360 degrees times the area of the circle. So substitute na natin. We have this. So anong sagot dito? 1 fourth. Tapos anong sagot dito? Times 25 pi square centimeter. So, pag tinem siya, 25 times 1, ay diyan ay 25 pi over 4 square centimeter. Hence, approximately, pag kinuha natin yung value ng pi, which is 3.1416, so, ito yung approximate value ng ating area ng sector. Ito yung binag-uusapan na, ayan, ang area ng sector, which is 19.63 square centimeter. Okay, let's have another example. A circle with radius of 4 cm inscribed in the right triangle ACB is drawn. If AC is 12, find the value of CB. Consider this figure. Sabi sa ating problem, 4 cm ang radius. So, ito yung ating radius. So, pangalanan natin ang vertices ng ating uh, triangle. So, we have that. So, we have triangle ACB. If AC is also given, which is 12, so ito yung AC natin from this point to this, pwede rin CA ang tawag, so we have that. So analyze natin ng problem para mas mahanap natin ng value ng CB. Bali, ang tinatanong natin ay CB. Ito yung CB. So value nitong side na to ang ating pinag-uusapan. So analyze natin ng problem. Since radius yung given, paano ba natin makukuha to? 
Pero kung mapapansin mo, kunyari nag-add tayo ng isang line dito. Kailangan nating mag-add dito ng line, papunta doon. Kung mapapansin nyo, makakabuo tayo na square with that. Kasi radius ito, radius ito, so pareha siya ng sukat. So again, radius itong na-drawing natin, radius din ito, pareha siya ng sukat. Tens, ang sukat nito at sukat nito, parehas lang. At ang sukat nito at sukat nito ay parehas lang. Kaya sila ay mga 14 ang magiging sukat. Dahil given na to, 4 na to, at 12 naman mula dito hanggang doon. So, ibig sabihin, mula dito hanggang doon, doon mapupunta yung 8. Kasi 12 minus 4, that will be 8. At dahil ito at saka ito ay magiging parehas din ng sukat. So, ibig sabihin, ito ngayon ay 8, 8 din. So, dahil ito ay wala tayong pagkukunan na analysisyon, so, ibig sabihin, ito ay x. Represent muna natin sa variable. Hence, ito rin ay magiging x. Okay, so pagkatapos, pwede na nating i-analyze. Since at the beginning, we know that that's a right triangle, so gagamitin pa rin natin ang Pythagorean Theorem. So, ang C ang longest side. So, ibig sabihin ito yon. So, itong C squared ay nare-represent ni VA. So, squared. Then, ito namang A squared ay nare-represent ni BC. Ito naman. At itong B, ito naman ang representation. So, we have that. Then by substitution, anong sukat ni BA batay sa analysisyon na mayroon tayo? So, iyan ay x tsaka 8. So, x plus 8. Yun yung magiging sukat nun. E squared equals. Ito namang BC ay x plus 4. Then, ang CA ay exactong 12. Siyempre, di na natin ilalagay yung 4 plus 8. So, parehas naman silang number. At 12 naman talaga siya. Hinati lang natin kanina para dahil ito at saka ito ay laging parehas ng magiging sukat. So, ginamit na lang natin yun. Then, square the binomial, kaya magiging x squared. I square the binomial, I square this one. Then, x times 8, that will be 8x tapos double. So, 8x times 2, that will be 16x. Then, uh, square this one. 8 times 8, 64. Same as this. So, square this one, x squared. 4 times x is 4x. Double is 8x. Then, we have square this 16. And square this 12, that will be 144. So, ilipat natin itong x squared. Tsaka ito. Wala na. Ito, parehas lang naman yan. Pag nilipat, ito yan. Wala na. So, kinapin natin ng 16x. Nilipat natin ito. So, kaya naging... Minus 18x. Tapos ito, 16 plus 144 is 160. Tapos ito, nilipat natin sa kabilang side. Kaya naging minus 64. Hence, ito ngayon ay 16x minus 8x is 8x. And 160 minus 64 is 96. And divide both side by 8. So this will be cancel out. So 96 divide 8, that will be 12. Pero ang tinatanong ay CB. So, ang CB natin ay X plus 4. So, ibig sabihin ng X natin ay 12. So, plus 4. So, CB is equal to 16. So, I hope nasusundan natin. Come out to class. Let's have another one. Consider another example. What is the area of the shaded region if the circle is inscribed in the square with the side of 8 cm? So, like this figure, the circle is inscribed in a square with what we call 8 cm side. So, ibig sabihin, given ang sukat ng side, 8 ito. So, kung 8 ito, ibig sabihin, 8 din ito ang kabilang side, 8 din ito, 8 din ito. So, ano pa yung mahalagang malaman natin? Kung i-analyze natin ang problem, ang shaded region natin ay yung blue, ha? Okay, kung yan ang gusto nating malaman, parang kailangan nating malaman ang sukat ng area ng square at the same time, area ng circle. Tapos, isubtract na lang natin. Para yung matira, yun yung area ng shaded part. So, nagigat nyo ba? So, ibig sabihin, kung kukunin natin ang area ng circle, walang problema sa area of square. Kasi meron na tayong side. Remember that the formula is A is equal to S squared. So, pero sa area ng bilog or ng circle, ano yung given na dyan? So, kung i-analyze natin, 
at maglalagay tayo ng radius. Okay, ang radius ay kalahati kasi 8 din to, di ba? Kung mapapansin natin, 8 din ito. Kasi parehas lang naman yan ang sukat. Lagay natin, 8 din ito. Kasi parehas lang yan ang sukat nito. So, ibig sabihin kung dahil yan ay radius, kalahati noon ang mangyayari. Kasi from this up to this, 8 yan. So, kalahati noon ay 4. So, ibig sabihin, ang magiging sukat ng ating radius ay 4. And from that, pwede na natin kunin ang area ng square na A is equal to pi R squared. So, ang, ang mahalaga lang naman ay alam natin ang R, which is the radius. At pag nirepresent natin yan, or sinubstitute, 4 squared, kasi 4 yung radius. And 4 squared means 16 pi square centimeter. Approximately, pag kinuha natin ang value ng pi, the answer is 50.74 square centimeter. So, approximately, yan yung magiging area na circle. So, another is area of square gamit ang S squared. So, alam naman natin na kapag pinag-uusapan ang formula ng square, yan ang formula. At ang ating side is 8. So, yan yun. So, and that will be 64 square centimeter. At sabi ko kanina, tsaka natin isubtract area ng square minus area ng circle. So, ito yun. So, ang area ng square natin ay 64 Approximately, ang circle ay 50.27 at pag sinubtract natin yan, 13.73 square centimeter. Approximately, that will be the measure of the shaded part. So, I hope natuto tayo kamato class sa solving problem on circles. God bless us.